Now we're back to Fikoka, I'm still JavaScript. This time it's the telephone number validator. We want to return true if all of these examples of telephone numbers, so these formats, are met. We'll use regex to solve this. Let me use console.log right here. And one way to test it is to just use the test on the string. And I use a regex. So I'll define that right here, let regex. And now we have to go over this. If you can't remember, it's in my playlist. So there is a specific free code camp section about regular expressions. You start with these slashes. Now we'll have to check the first example. It's three numbers. So numbers are always backslash D. And then we'll define the number three inside to cover this. Then we've got a dash, so minus, and then we'll add the next three numbers. And then again minus, and we've got, this time we've got four numbers, so it's backslash d, and then curly brackets four not three, so I have to fix this. But now we should have this first example covered and if we run the test, you can see this test already validates. A couple of others do as well, but we are far from being done here. Next example has parentheses right here and the minus sign of dash is missing. So D3 is actually optional. As the second example starts with parenthesis, so I use this OR operator. Then I use backslash for the parenthesis. But I'll have to add one right here. And the closing one needs to be here. And inside we've got our numbers again. So backslash D3. And then we need a backslash for a closing bracket. So this should validate some more tests. So here's the opening parenthesis, then the D3 for numbers. And then the closing. So some more are now valid, but still there is a lot of missing. Let us go to the next example. Right here, for example, you can see that the minus is missing. So this is actually optional. Instead, we have a white space, for example, in example three. So we'll just add a question mark to the minus. And if it's a white space, it's backslash s, and it's also optional, so question mark. This covers this example. Example 4, the second minus is missing. So we need a question mark here as well. And there's white space, so backslash s, it's optional, therefore a question mark is needed. This should cover basically all of them except for the last one and we already know that in the end we'll have four digits so I use this dollar sign for the end but here the final example we've got a one and a white space so let me add that here we need the caret sign and add the one so caret indicates the beginning one is optional, so we need a question mark. And then there's a white space, so backslash s. And it's also optional, so question mark. 
And now we should have the last example also covered. Let me test it. And we've got all the tests valid now. So again, caret one is for the first one. It's optional as all the other examples don't have a one. Here's the white space, also optional. And you've seen the rest. It validates for the other examples. So this is how you can solve this telephone number validator using Regix. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.